between three and five. And then this is that same two. This this is that first. We would like to create a capacity balance between white-tailed deer and our residents. This is the first time Texas Parks and Wildlife has done a migration study in an urban-like atmosphere. Actual research is being administered by the Caesar Clayberg Wildlife Research Institute in Kingsville, Texas, and they are part of Texas A&M. They are internationally known. We feel very fortunate to be working with them. Now they could not do the research study without the partnership of Texas Parks and Wildlife agreeing. So um, special thank yous for tex to Texas Parks and Wildlife for letting us do this. The third entity is our city because basically um, we are funding the research project. So you've got three major entities involved. There are three goals to the research um, aspect of this project and um, the objectives are the first one is to get a population estimate. Um, for the city. They want to have, you know, a number that they can say this is approximately the number of deer we have in the city. Uh, the second one is to determine the movement of deer and so that is the city's interested in using contraceptives as a way to manage the population and in order to do that they need to know how the deer are moving throughout the city. So we've put collars on deer to kind of track their movements. Um, and so kind of determine what their home ranges are. And then the third objective is to come up with management strategies uh, for the city that would have them, allow them to have a healthy and pop, uh, stable population. Um, my part is the research aspect. So I'm the one that's out there tagging the deer, um, tracking their movements, determining um, what the population is. So I'm kind of on the ground out throughout the city and figuring out what's going on and then I'll be able to take all of that data that we collect and you know come up with these are some management options and what it would cost and what they would need to do and give them the population estimate from the numbers uh, from the data that I've collected. So we started trapping in January through up till April and um, so that was done by drop nets which were these big kind of canopy nets set up through, um, all throughout the town. Um, and we worked, the city hired a professional trapper and we worked with him and his crew to trap deer and we tagged approximately 330 white-tailed deer um, and out of those 330 deer, 38 of them received transmitters and so those are the deer that I'll be able to track the movements of. So from the trapping, once that finished, now we're starting into surveys. So I'm tracking you know, um, movements throughout the week on the deer and getting locations of the ones that have collars, as well as running what's called mark site surveys. And so that will help us determine population estimates. So I've got predetermined driving routes that I drive um, within a period throughout the entire city and write down every deer that has tags and doesn't have tags. So we can kind of take that, put it into a software program and determine what the population estimate would be. Um, so I just wanted to show you kind of what's on the deer um, so people can kind of see what is going on out there, what they see, what it looks like up close. So these okay. are just cattle ear tags. They're really light and weight and really flimsy and the deer have these on their ears. Um, they have two of them, one on each ear and they have, all of them have a unique number color combination so no, no combination is repeated so then I'm able to identify a deer as an individual um, okay. when I see them. And then the ones I was saying that have collars or transmitters, this is what a collar looks like and each collar has a specific um, frequency and that's how I'm able to track them um, with a receiver and antenna. 
um, the females have collars and then there are 20 males that have ear tag transmitters so it's a little smaller and it's on an ear instead of, of around their neck. I do have a website okay. um, that people can go to and report um, if they've seen a deer and that's kind of a way to get residents involved and it's an, a way for me to kind of have more eyes on the ground.